Hey, what's up, family? We're back with another one. We're going to talk about biggest money myths when it comes to manifesting more in life itself. And before I get started, I want you to comment below how much money you're trying to manifest or you're planning to manifest this month. With that said, let's go. All right, the biggest money myth out there in not only in the manifestation community, but in life and in this world is that you must work hard. You gotta work hard to make a lot of money. Any of us that pay attention really to things in the world or, or focus on energy or anything outside of the mainstream know that that couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. Some of the hardest working people I know or I've seen in this world are literally some of the poorest individuals in this world. So there's no correlation, there's not a direct correlation, I'll say, between working hard and financial abundance. That's a bold-faced lie that's told to us by individuals in society you know, most likely to keep us working hard and running on the hamster wheel and not achieving what we want to in this world. So since working hard isn't the issue and it's not going to get you what you want, let's focus on what is. Obviously, in manifestation, financial abundance, money, it, it's about alignment. What are you aligned with? What are your dominant thoughts on a daily basis? Are you thinking about how much money is coming to you how grateful you are for the financial abundance that you already have? Are you thinking, you know, are you grateful for the things that you have in your life already? Be it the money that's in your pocket, the phone that you may have right now, the car that you're driving, the house that you're going home to, the clothes that you have on your back. These are all signs of material and financial abundance that many of us take for granted. And I'll tell you this, when you start showing gratitude for those things alone more things come into your life so you don't have to necessarily work hard and be in the drudgery of everyday life for you to get what you want financially you need to be more focused on having an abundant mindset so that literally money can find you Start focusing on the things that you're good at, on the things that you're passionate about. You know, it sounds cliche, but all of those things that piqued your interest, maybe when you were a child, when you were a little kid, before you became an adult and were indoctrinated, like many of us that were just taught the path, hey, go to school, get a good job, you'll have money, you'll have a house, you'll have a car, You'll have two and a half weeks of vacation and everything will be all good. Lots of us have experienced that and um, that's not really what transpired. And even for a lot of people that have that life, they're not happy and they're not even materially successful. So they're forcing themselves to do things that they don't like just to survive. Now, that's not life to me. I don't know if that's life for you. And I'm not telling you to stop working. Don't ever think that. I'm not saying stop working, stop your job right now, do something you love full time. No, that's not the case. Everybody's situation is different. But start opening yourself up to financial abundance and open yourself up to the many ways that it can come to you. I'm, I'm telling you from experience. I work hard at everything I do, right? Uh, I, I put in effort, should I say. Some things were hard work initially, um, but I put effort into everything I do. But I realized the more I relaxed and was aligned with the action that I was taking, the easier it was for me to manifest money and success and the results that I wanted in whatever work I was doing. So focus more on the actual 
work that you're doing and make sure it's something that you do enjoy. Make sure that you enjoy some type of, some part of it. And also start doing things that may be unconventional to you. Uh, play the lottery. If you believe you can win, play the lottery. Somebody wins the lottery every single day, but somehow we act like it's so unrealistic for you to win the lottery. And I don't care if you've won $2 or $4 before, you probably, if you played the lottery, have already won the lottery before. So that's, that's a mindset shift in itself. Oh, money could come to me this way. Oh, I could apply for a grant for my business. Oh, boom, money came to me that way. These, these are ways that many people don't think about. It's raining right now where I'm at. And there's an abundance of rain. I'm not looking around saying, oh, there's only going to be one or two raindrops if I needed to wet my hand or wet a rag to wipe something off in the car. There's an abundance of it. It's everywhere. And that's exactly how money is. It circulates everywhere. It's just a matter of putting yourself energetically in a space where that money that currency is traveling into your orbit. And sometimes maybe we're in the wrong place, we may be surrounded by the wrong people, or we may actually be doing the wrong, you know, the wrong type of work to garner us that type of financial abundance. But I want you to work on having an abundance mindset and not a scarcity mindset and to not focus on strictly working hard at something this is this is something that's been driven into many of us that come from different communities and here in the west they drive that down our throats and lots of us work you know one two three jobs work five to seven days a week and many people you know were struggling and then on the other side of that, you may see individuals here that are creators, um, that own a business, that do something that's not too labor intensive and make a lot of money. So the financial value is not really correlated with how hard you work. There's few industries where hard work is directly correlated with how much money you make and be mindful that money and finances doesn't only come from your labor or from working you can also invest your money um, there's the stock market this isn't financial advice but i will put some links in the description so that if you do want to set up a brokerage account or you want to set up a stock account, you can do that easily, but you can make money work for you. Um, I know that this is, we're more on the metaphysical side and I want to make sure that you're in the right mindset to have money come towards you so that you can manifest money. But I also want to give you those simple practical tips also. So don't work hard, work smart, think abundantly, be abundant in your thought process and how you live life and have an expectation that money is always coming to you that's all we have for you comment below